Connie from Smockety Frogs, and I have gotten several emails and comments about my chores system and my schedule, so I thought I would do a little video and show everything all at once. Here's our master schedule right up here, and for the record, we have plenty of chores that need to be done every single day by every child that do not get reimbursed with payola cash, if you know what I mean. So I thought I would show you some of the things that they do first thing in the morning. This is mom and the rest of the kids by age order. Everybody has their own color. And I used post-it notes and just a poster board. And I put the times up here. And look, over, look right here and you'll see this is mom, what I do after I get up and everything. Start the laundry, clean the kitchen. One child's unloading the dishwasher, one child's tidying the living room, folding clothes, folding clothes, clean the back door, spray and wipe table legs. This right here is the three-year-old, and this is the five-year-old. So they have simple things that they can do without help. Then we have a few um, school lessons and everything. And then down here before lunchtime, we have put away clothes, sweep halls and entry, clean bathrooms, tidy living room, tidy dining room, spray and wipe chairs again, sweep under table. So all of these chores are not for money. They're just to help out uh, the household. And then we have lunch and chores right here. After, everybody has after meal chores, um, and everybody knows what they do. I didn't write those down. Somebody cleans off the table, somebody loads the dishwasher, somebody sweeps the kitchen, and all the different things like that get done after every meal. I, I didn't write those down because everybody knows what their assignment is. It doesn't change. And then I had this idea to do what I call weeklies. Every different day of the week are things that need to be done approximately once a week. Sunday, this person changes and washes their sheets and they do it on their own with some help from me, but they start the washer, put in the detergent, so they'll know how to do that. Monday, they sweep the porches. Tuesday, mop the tile. Wednesday, closet cleanup. They clean up their own closet. Thursday, dust and do their own laundry. Friday, clean out the van. Saturday, vacuum dining room. And I made it where the van gets cleaned out a lot and everybody has a chance to do their own laundry and then down here you will see we have more schoolwork. And then you'll see a big gap. And then down here it says dinner prep for mom. And each day of the week somebody different helps me with dinner prep. But there's a big gap here showing that hopefully each person will get through with all their schoolwork. And then they'll have time to play or read or draw or free time to do whatever they want. If they aren't through with their schoolwork, they're going to be spending that time before dinner still doing their schoolwork. Everybody mostly gets done before we get down there to the gap, the free time gap before dinner. So they have plenty of time to work and play. I don't really have a problem with it. Um, okay, can you show this right here? This is my five-year-old and three-year-old. And while I'm doing work with some of the other kids, the five-year-old is counting beans and the three-year-old is water play in the sink with water and bubbles with the baby. So that's one thing I do with the preschoolers, and I'll talk more about that another time. But I just wanted to show you my schedule and some of our chores. And again, these do not get any reimbursement. They're not for pay. I do have a system of chores where the children get paid for certain chores. But we have plenty of chores that they do every day without getting paid. It's just to help out the family like we always do.